In this expression, there are four terms. Let's look at the first two terms to see if there's any common factor. Now, the third and the fourth term. By removing the common factors from the first two terms, we get this. Similarly, for the next two terms, we will get this. Now, from these two huge terms, we see that 2a plus 3b is the common factor. By removing it, This is what is left behind. Let's check. Is there any common factors between the two terms here? There isn't. There isn't any common factors between the two terms too. And therefore, the expression has been completely factorized. Now, let's look at this one. The first two terms do not have any common factors. However, we can see that these two terms has common factor. Similarly, these two terms have common factors. We shall reorganize the terms so that it is more obvious to us where the common factors are. Now, this is the pair of common factors. Here it is. So we get this. The common factor over here would be negative b. And we get this. Let's check. a times x gives us ax. a times y is ay. Negative b times x will give us negative bx. Negative b times y will give us negative by. Next step. Here's the common factor. And therefore, this is what we get. And since there isn't any common factors between the terms in the brackets, it is completely factorized. Now, how about this? Okay. So, I remove 5a. What is left behind will be b minus 2. Here, if I were to remove negative 3, I will get b minus 2. Let's check. 5a times b, 5ab. 5a times negative 2, negative 10a. Negative 3 times b, negative 3b. Negative 3 times negative 2, positive 6. Here's the common factor, b minus 2. And what's left is this. So, since there isn't any common factors within the brackets, this is the completely factorized form. Let's try this. You are given one minute to complete. Now, let's look at the first two terms. And the third and the fourth term. Let's remove the common factor from the first two terms, which is 3a. And now, we are left with 2 
m minus 3. Next, let's remove 4b. What's left behind? 3 minus 2m. It seems like these two huge terms do not have any common factors. However, if we take a closer look, here we have 2m minus 3. Here we have 3 minus 2m. The terms are the same except that the signs are different. So, let's try to remove negative 1 from this term. We will get this. You will notice that now we have two common factors. By removing it, we get this. And that's the answer. Since there isn't any more common factors within the bracket.